All right, Colin, so I got to know, mm-hmm. how much were you laughing when you thought up the play the first to one. hand it off to Avery on the first down? <laughs> you know, it was – it was. Uh, we've kind of had some stuff like that in and, and around for, for a minute. And, you know, as we were kind of – Coach and I were working through it, it was one of the things that uh, came up and, and ended up running with it. The guys executed it well all week and so decided to go with it. So – Ran some tackle over. Mm-hmm. Um, is that the first time you guys have done anything like that? You know, we've again we've had it. Uh, I think we did it maybe once or twice last year on in some scenarios um, and done some ogre type things like that. But uh, um, there was some stuff on tape and, and some different things that we thought gave us an advantage on some double teams and. Um, TCU ended up playing uh, some things a little bit differently too. Ended up just redeclaring a center, so uh, a little bit of a cat and mouse deal. But our guys did good with it, and it was some good stuff. How much confidence do you have in Jace Brown after such a short amount of playing time? You know, uh, not. I, I wasn't surprised at all to see him go out and make the plays that he did. Uh, he's had he, the last couple of weeks, and even since he's been here, he's he's worked extremely hard and, and put himself. Uh, Taking advantage of those opportunities when he's got gotten them in practice, and uh, you know was able to make uh, uh, some big plays for us, and uh, he deserves every bit of it. And I, I think there's a lot more more to come there too. Going to get your top twenty in scoring offense, man. Just yeah, you know, shoot, I, I'm just trying to find the next one. I, don't <laughs> uh, I you know, it's again, it's a credit to our guys, um, credit to how how they've worked together and. Uh, the continuity that I think again is uh, is continuing to build, and uh, just got to keep working harder. I mean, because there's there's more out there, and I know those uh, I know our guys know that, and and uh, credit to all of them collectively because it's been a group effort. Do you have to prepare for both the odd man front and four man front this week? Uh, I, you know, it's it's definitely something that's on our mind. Um, you know, I, who knows whether it would be just a curveball that they gave Texas or. Uh, you know, something that uh, will be a staple for them moving forward. Um, but but we'll be prepared for both. And, and uh, uh, fortunate, again, we're in a little different situation because our defense plays it, played TCU last week that plays it. Our guys have a lot of experience with it. How confident are you that you'll have Ben Simmons this week? Uh, I, I do think he'll play. Um, you know, he's <laughs> – uh, he's been, uh, again, working hard to get himself back and, and has made good progress, but uh, still a little bit day-to-day. Splitting quarterbacks the way he did last week, is that something that you could theoretically do the whole rest of the season? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know. Um, uh, you know, it's uh, – the, the thing about it is, and, and kind of like I told you guys last week, I, um, I don't know exactly how the picture is going to look as, as we paint it. Um, you know, I think it'll be something that uh, may change week to week. Um, but but the, the thing that will make uh, our offense successful and, and make it work is, is how both of those guys have attacked it and, and how they're helping one another. When they get their chances, they're competing their butts off and uh, ultimately just trying to get our team and our offense in the best position on you know, on each drive, each series, in any situation. And if it's a true series by series thing or if it's a kind of an in and out situationally, uh, schematically type thing. Uh, you know, it'll probably be game by game and, and feeling it out and, and how both those guys are doing. So uh, proud of them both because it's uh, uh, they've handled it extremely well. Is there a challenge to kind of manage, you know, I say pride or ego in the room or do they make it kind of easier on you? Uh, those guys are off the chart, off the chart. And and it's uh, uh, truly, it's it's their heart to, to serve their teammates and uh, yeah, and, and uh, check that, you know, ego or whatever. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to coach them or, or if they didn't want to play, <laughs> you know. So that's uh, – every quarterback has that. I know each one of them have that. And, uh, but, again, it's just trying to do, again, what's in the best interest of our, our offense and football team and, and, and get them both going. And, and they've done a tremendous job of that. You're always coaching within the framework of that 60-minute game and not outside of looking ahead at showing somebody something. Um, 
you know, I, I think there's, um, for the most part, I mean, it's it's got to be uh, what you what you need that day, what that what you need that drive, and and kind of doing it play by play, game by game. But you know, as you go, you're kind of able to uh, build up tendencies, which sometimes can be a good thing. You know, as long as you know them and you're aware of them, because uh, then that can help you uh, move through and, and move to the next thing. Is um, you know, because that's what they're seeing, but. Uh, for the most part, again, it's, it's trying to boil it down to each play, each drive, and, and packaging it that way. Touchdown pass to DJ. Will said that was his first read. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy, simple play for a quarterback. What was it about that formation that you figured would uh, you know work work well in that situation? Yeah, no, it's uh, really like that formation for a lot of different reasons uh, in our offense, but. Um, you know, it was uh, ended up the corner and the will just, you know, just misbanjoed it, uh, uh, didn't exchange it correctly, and, and uh, knew we were going to have a chance either potentially with that exchange or, or the interior triangle on the mesh. But, um, you know, they did a great job. He, uh, will put it on him and allowed him to keep him running, and, and uh, DJ finished the deal. So it's a, it's a good formation. Good in any way that Avery, you know, didn't have every single run go perfectly this this last week. Maybe could learn something from from his experience. Um, no, I I, th I thought it was really good. You know, and again, I didn't necessarily plan it that way, but uh, he got a lot of good experiences, some game uh, game management uh, opportunities and, and lessons. Uh, a little bit of a two minute drive before the half, got to kind of experience and, and manage. Uh, some of those dynamics and thought processes, having a lead, two minutes left, trying to get points, uh, type of a deal. So I think uh, there was a lot of good, a lot of good opportunities for him that that I think he uh, capitalized on and and will definitely uh, carry forward in the future. So uh, yeah, he he did kind of he chuckle when that. Uh, uh, big cat landed on him or whatever. He's like, yeah, it might have been the hardest I've been hit in my life. I was like, yeah, there's some big cats out there. <laughs> yeah. Have you played and coached enough football that even with an experienced offensive line that sometimes it takes things a while to kick into gear and to kind of mesh together that this year wasn't a surprise? Oh, I, I think every year is that way. Yeah, I mean, it truly is because there's uh, – you know, even if even if you're the even if you're the same guys, people play you differently. You have to adjust, and you know, to how they're playing you. Even if it's not like you're just going to run the same plays sometimes, because they're they're geared for that too. So you have to be able to morph. You have to be able to adjust, uh, continue to adapt, and and it takes uh, you know time to kind of to get into that rhythm. And and football is a game you can't play real life, you know, year round. So it, you know, I think it does take uh, some, some ramp up time and, uh, you know, in the fall and, and, uh, but we just got to focus on getting better. Uh, I think we've made some progress fundamentally on some things and I uh, got to continue to do so. Jace Brown had a great game. I see another young name on the depth chart. Is that room getting more competitive? Uh, I, I, I think so. Um, I, I really appreciate how Jace is, uh, worked and, and prepared uh, extremely hard to, to give himself some to earn his opportunities, and um, he's he's taken advantage of it. And um, you know, uh, I think he's got a uh, a knack for for route running, and then and then some top end juice that uh, is is positive. So excited to see him him continue to grow, and, and that whole room that uh, you know keeps working together and, and pushing each other to uh, continue to grow and improve.